All right, you guys. Today on that neon channel, did a little work to the uh, the motorcycle Diamondback motorcycle bill, whatever you want to call it. Um, today, uh, we took the rear wheel off the back. Of course, that's pretty easy. If you don't know how to take the bike wheel off, you're dumb. It's a quick release anyway. So we took the quick release off. I cut the chain off the bike because we're going to be switching the sprocket side to the opposite side because my motor turns the way where I'd have to turn it this way I can't turn the motion around so this is one of those derailing systems or whatever it's called where it kicks backwards or whatever you want to call it so I had to get this locked up you can see it's not moving now how we did that is we took the welder Stuck her up here in the vise, clamped her down, used a welding stick. We stuck it in here and we welded these gears shut. I probably just fucking heated the bearings up to the point where they can't move anymore. I don't know how well that weld is, but either way, that's how we got it to not move. So now we can put the wheel back on the bike. And we have a solid gear. So now when I hook my chain up to there and up to here, it's going to be a lot easier to use. So now I have to get a sprocket, which I have this parts bike in here I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this front sprocket because it's pretty small, the inside. So I need that sprocket off of there. We'll do that next. We're gonna take that sprocket and we're gonna bolt it to the shaft of the engine over here. We're gonna remove this fan blade and we're gonna put the sprocket here instead. Bolt it down tight. And then we're gonna figure out how to mount the engine to the bicycle, which I don't think it'll be too hard um, it shouldn't be too bad. Other than that, everything so far is so good. I just wanted to update you on what was going on with the bike build. What else? Um... I do plan on put, keeping the brakes on here. Hopefully they're good enough for this build. Um, tell me any ideas you guys got down in the comment section on how you think I could do what I could do to modify or make this build better, funner, cooler. Um, I have a gas tank here somewhere. Oh, here it is. So, oh man, the bike moved. That's weird. Like, <laughs> anyways, this tank. I was thinking about mounting right under here. Looks for you, just like that. So it clears the front tire, and the fuel doesn't have a far to go to the throttle body. It's gonna be hard to feed it down. I'll probably have to do it like right here. Honestly, I don't know how to slow that. I'll probably do it like that so the gas can feed straight over and I'll have easy access to the tank. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to self-tap that bitch right there. That will be perfect. So anyways, I tore this little pink bike over there apart. I tore the, the crankshaft out of it. And I pulled the sprocket off and now we got the sprocket bolted on here nice and tight. I'm thinking about drilling a hole through here and putting a dowel pin so this has no way to move. Uh, you can't really see, but I welded the gear inside of there a lot better now, so it's a lot tighter. I wrapped my chain through here like I was going to have it. So now the next part of the project tomorrow is going to be trying to get this mounted to here. My idea was to take two L brackets, screw a hole here, screw a hole here, screw a hole here, screw a hole here. 
put a bolt all the way through here with an L bracket to here and put a bolt nut through here, bolt nut through here, bolt nut through here, bolt nut through here to hold this from moving and two of those would be perfect for this little shit. It's not like I have a V8 in here. Two little mounts be perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, this build's coming along faster than I expected it to be. So if you guys have any better ideas on how I can mount this uh, engine on here before I do mount it, we're going to leave the pedals on here. I was thinking about removing that sprocket just so, but I couldn't get the fucking pedals off, so I gave up on that idea. We're going to have these as what we keep our feet on. I'll figure out how to mount a solid. Right now I just put two zip ties over there to hold the pedal. Works for what it's what it needs to be, you know. So look forward to the next video coming from the uh Diamondback motorcycle motor bicycle build. This shit is tight, bro. I have no money in this thing so far. The only thing I'm probably gonna have to buy is a little bit of gas line to stretch from the carburetor to the tank to the tank and I probably wouldn't even have to do that if I took this tank and put it closer something like that I wouldn't need any fuel line I just bolted it on there like that actually you never know that might be how I do it then it would be less in my way what do y'all think Well, I think that's what we're going to do, actually. The tank's going to go on that rail. The motor's going to be right where it's at. You can see I turned the wheel around because the sprocket used to be on this side. I welded the gear solid. Took the sprocket off the pink bike. Put the sprocket on here. Ran the chain through. I still need to get a master link for the chain and put the chain back together. But I'm not going to do that until I'm completely done. But as you can see... It's pretty easy to fix. All you do is you grind these little tabs off and you put a master link in there. Right now my camera has no flash so it's not going to focus on anything. Um, but yeah. Let me know what y'all think about Soren Sorrento. The Diamondback Sorrento motorcycle with front suspension. A seven speed automatic with a uh, three speed overdrive. Sh Shimuro, Shimano uh, brakes. <laughs> Is that something like uh, Brembo brakes? Shimino V brakes. So, yeah, that's just a little update for you guys. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to that neon channel. Peace out.